Lebanon has been in a state of financial chaos since late 2019, when its currency lost more than 90% of its value, forcing three quarters of the population into poverty. Now, the political crisis can be blamed partly on Lebanon's sectarian political system, which requires a Sunni prime minister, a Maronite Christian president, and a Shia speaker of parliament. Now, just a week after the devastating explosion at the port of Beirut in August of 2020, then Prime Minister Hassan Diab and his government resigned following mass protests. Protesters accused the government of negligence and corruption. Mustafa Ad Abib took over but uh, faced a deadlock over forming his French-backed cabinet. He resigned less than a month later. Then former Prime Minister Saad Hariri came back on the scene a year after he initially stepped down. He was tasked with forming the next government but clashed with President Michel Aoun. After trying for nine months, he too resigned. And now it's Makati's turn, Lebanon's wealthiest man. He's the it's the third time he's been a prime minister designate, but he's already formed a government and a vote of confidence will be expected to pass on Monday.